All right, a bunch of loose G.I. Joes coming your way from the big toy auction. Starting off in 1986, this is Hawk version 2. Um, my favorite version of Hawk, as it turns out. Something to be said for the original, but I like this one a little bit better. He does have an elbow crack. You can see that in the photos. If you zoom in, we want you to be aware of that. But we'll show you the rest here. His knees work fine. The waist is good. And we're seeing the arms there. They uh, work pretty nice. You got some good movement in the shoulders and the elbows. A little looseness in that one knee, as you just see right there. We'll circle all the way around so you can see every angle. And finally, the head, he does have good motion with the ball joint. Blaster from 1987. Comes with his gun, but not much else in this one. And a nice looking piece all around. We'll show you the front, we show you the back, and I'm going to show you his knees. They do move. They work pretty good. Nice and free. No real looseness in that waist. You can see it. Give it the old wiggle jiggle test. We give it the same with the shoulders. You can see the arms moving pretty good, head moves good, and all around a nice piece. A harder one to find right there. Next up we have, from 1987, this version of Outback. A little wear on his insignia on the front, a little bit of yellowing on that white shirt. Those are both easily fixed, but we give them to you in the condition that we got them from our consigner. The knees are looking pretty good. He does have a little bit of an elbow crack, so we're going to be gentle with the arms, but they do move, as well as the head, as you see it right there. So a great piece for your collection. Moving on to Ripcord from 1984. You can see the front, and I'm going to point out the problem that you've seen there already, is that crotch has been broken. So for many of you, either this will fill a hole in your collection uh, until you get a better one, or you'll be able to use him as donor parts. Uh, it's unfortunate that does happen, just like knees, uh, just like elbows, just like thumbs, sometimes those things crack over the years. It's been 40 years since this guy came out, so not surprising. And especially these uh, these ones that have any kind of parachutes that you got to go through often can put wear on that crotch. You can see he's a little bit loose there in the knee, but the arms move well. The head still has good motion and all around a pretty nice figure. We're moving on to Fast Draw. This is from 1987. He also has a little bit of elbow cracking, as you can see in the photos. This version does not have any of the silvering on the um, blast mask, just the red blast mask. A little bit loose in the waist, but not too, too bad. The knees have good motion. A little shoulder loose right there, loose shoulder uh, joint. Now we're going to be a little bit careful because of the elbow cracks, but otherwise pretty good. The head does move, and that blast shield does come down nicely. And we're going to wrap it up here with a little Bushido action, a little samurai action to close out this grouping. From 1988, you got Bushido. Fairly impractical in combat, but still a nice piece for your collection. A little bit of elbow cracking on this one as well, so I want you to be aware of that. You can see all of those in the photos in the catalog, but you can't see this motion in the catalog, which is why we do these videos for you. So you can see it's looking pretty good in the waist and in the knees. Maybe you can replace that O-ring, uh, but I don't think it needs it yet. The arms move, head moves, and all around some good pieces.